Hi everyone, it's James here and I'm just wrapping up our weekend challenge of designing a login form for this week. I wanted to show you what I came up with before giving you a chance to share your links so you can share your creative designs with everyone. So for my design, I did just start off really simple. I actually had a square login uh, username and password box and a, a normal sort of looking button. But I decided to push myself a little bit out of my comfort zone in terms of design. So uh, the first thing I did, I'll show you, I actually went and did a bit of a Google search for login form designs. Uh, and if you just put that into an image search, obviously it'll come up with loads of different uh, creative ideas for you. Uh, and this one caught my eye. I quite like the sort of curvy cutaway of the uh, white that we have here uh, and the, the linear gradient of the uh, left hand side of the login form. So I thought, let's try and recreate that somehow. Um, so this was the uh, the design that the uh, someone had done on Dribbble. So as I said, I quite like that design and I thought, let's see if we can uh, recreate something a bit similar. So uh, the first problem I had was really trying to get this uh, wave effect to kind of cut away um, part of an element on the page. And if you have access to uh, Photoshop or Illustrator, you could create something uh, like this yourself. Uh, but something I found really handy online uh, this weekend was the getwaves.io site. I've never heard of this before. Um, but basically, uh, you can use it to create SVG waveforms, or at least give you some ideas of how you might code that up. Uh, and you, if, when you find something that you like, you just click the download button and you can either download an SVG of that, or you can actually just copy the code, which is what I did and copied it into my code pen. So when we look at the design here, that actual waveform is part of the SVG that I've embedded onto the page. So that's one way that you can achieve that effect anyway. And the other thing I did was use an online uh, gradient editor, so cssgradient.io, which is really handy. And as you can see, I just got that purple, uh, dark purple and light purple effect uh, from there. And then the final thing that I did, uh, I actually got this icon from um, an icon site. And we should, if we were going to use this in a natural project, you'd either need to buy this icon or actually put um, a link uh, to say that you've used it. Um, and I just literally copied the URL and dropped it into that part of the page. Uh, and then I used a CSS filter just to invert it into a white color. So not a huge amount of work to achieve that effect. And I think it looks a little bit more interesting than just having uh, the login information and uh, the inputs that you have to put in, in a, a column or a row. And of course, if you're working on a website where you need a login like this, you can use the brand colors to do the gradient or just have a, a solid flat color if you need to. So one thing I didn't get a chance to do was to add some icons on the right hand side here. So if you look on the actual login page, there's uh, like a user icon and a padlock icon for the username and password fields. Uh, and that would have just been a simple case of getting those images or using like a font library like Font Awesome, uh, and then just shifting those over to the top of the various input boxes. And of course I could have got a better icon as well if I'd have dug around to find some other vectors to put on the page. So just going back to the original document, so this is what we started off with, and then just with a bit of change to the markup and uh, obviously some CSS styling, we managed to get something that looks a bit more interesting. So that's pretty much it for my design. It's time for you now to share your work in the comments below. And if you didn't quite get a chance to finish it, don't worry, just post a link in the comments below. This challenge was all about having a bit of creativity and seeing if you can do something different with just a small bit of markup. How a login page actually looks will really depend on the actual site that it's being built from. And as I say, a good way to get creativity is just to do a Google search and look for some ideas. And then challenge yourself to recreate that design and hopefully you'll learn a few things along the way. So anyway, that's it for this weekend's challenge. I'll see you at the end of the week for next week's challenge.